wide open echo two on two right. Hi, welcome to Moore Park College and the Moore Park College Raider Football Program's 2013 Media Day. We're here on the campus at their beautiful Griffin Stadium, and we're going to be talking today with some of the participants of this year's team and what they're looking forward to as far as their conference aspirations against a very, very tough group of opponents. So this group coming in, hopeful as always at the beginning of the season, we're going to find out a little bit more about those players today. Stay with us. Hello, we're back at Moore Park College for the 2013 Media Day for the Moore Park Raider football program. And seated to my right, your left, is one of the quarterback prospects for this year's team, Max Leffler. He's out of Grace Brethren High School in Simi Valley. And Max, first of all, welcome. And uh, what, what's it like to be playing uh, at this level versus, I know Grace Brethren's a pretty small program. How, what's the difference? Um, it's a lot more people on your team. I mean, my high school, we only had 24 people on our team. Uh, one way going or everybody's going both ways even on special teams so here you're focused on only your one position I'm not playing safety I'm not playing punter I'm not doing kicking I'm not doing three or four different things we're here I can primarily focus on being QB instead of you know a defense position or a punter or kicker so I mean it differs in that way to my right is Mr. Raymond Bolden Receiver out of Euless, Texas, played at Trinity High School. A lot of you probably heard of that school before. And whatever brought you out here to Moore Park? Um, I mean, I was looking for another program to play to get me to the next level, and I heard of Moore Park. It just sounded like a good situation. Guys trying to rebuild, so I wanted to get along. And I'm sitting here, obviously, with a very big man. This is Orion Awa DeBose. He's penciled in as a starting center this year. For those of you that follow Moore Park football, you know he played guard last year next to his brother Quincy, who has since moved on. But uh, how's it feel changing position, going from guard to center? Is that a big move for you? No, because I actually played center my sophomore, junior, and senior year over at Rio Mesa High School. So it kind of feels good to go back to my to my home position. Now, as far as the offensive scheme goes here, I would suppose at center, are you the signal caller on the line? Yes, I'm the one who has to point out like the play side backer, the backside backer. I, I got to call out like the like, like like the defensive fronts and everything. So it should be fun though, calling calling out all that, directing everyone. And sitting to my right, one of the defensive stalwarts on that defensive line, Brandon Baker, Camarillo High School, and then uh, I understand Lindenwood in Missouri. How'd you get back there? Uh, the Youth Athletes for Christ program with John Diaz. He uh, brought me out, and that's how I got there. So what are the goals for the defensive line front here at Moore Park this year? Well, our, our main goals are just get stronger, get faster, hold our gaps, let the linebackers do their work, and then, I mean, if we can make a play, we're going to make the play. So your basic job is to take up real estate and let your other people fly to the football. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Moore Park Raider football program and seated to my right your left is Will Thurston the head coach here and Will you've been connected with this school for quite a long time am I correct? That's correct I uh, this is my 35th year coaching sports here at Moore Park College and I've uh, been with the football program for 25 of those years um, it's a wonderful experience I've had over the years. Well, it's, all, it's always been a problem for junior college football, trying to get people to come to the games. I think you're on the right track doing something creative to try to just put butts in the seat. I love your student uh, crazies, the Duke crazies idea in the end zone. Uh, what else do you think you need to do out in the community to help? Is there some way people in the bin, maybe businessmen can help uh, with your program? We're always in, uh, in, in favor of bringing uh, uh, anybody that would like to come in and contribute to the program. So. Uh, local, you know, Moore Park is uh, the community part is we, we reach out, uh, it's the biggest school in the district, uh, we reach out to everybody, uh, not just the Canal Valley, not just the city of Moore Park, not Simi Valley, but we, we go out, branch out even further than that. Our job is just to uh, connect with as many people as possible, but we do compete against the other community colleges, so, uh, but we think we're doing a good job and uh, our ideas, we have more ideas coming in that we think are going to work uh, in the next five years. 
We're back at Moore Park College for the 2013 Media Day for the Moore Park Raider football program. And a guy who's going to have a lot to say about the success of this program this year is the defensive coordinator. Please welcome Mike Stewart. Mike, thanks a lot for joining us today. Uh, what exactly are you guys going to be doing on defense this year for the Raiders? Be a lot of a lot of pressure defenses. Uh, we're going to be in multiple fronts. You know, not going to be sitting in just a basic, you know, four three defense. We'll we'll move our ends. We'll move our linebackers. Um, we really trust in our corners out here. We did a good job recruiting some other ones. We have a, a returner, Caesar Furman, is also going to be with us. So we really like to put our co corners on an island, and then you know play pattern defense with our safeties and our linebackers, the slots. You like to blitz a lot, I understand, too. Yeah, I like to switch it up. I mean, if you look at our playbook, it's not huge, but we have a lot of different multiple fronts that we can use out of it, and our same blitz concept can go with our three front, with our four front, our five front. So uh, we're looking for big things out of the defense this year, and if you recognize a little bit of a different look on the field by the Raiders, it's because of this man here, Mike Stewart. Mike, thank you for joining us, and good luck this year. Thank you so much.